I don't know what we're gonna talk about. No, we will let it have fun. Just enjoy it. So Baron, how do you start with the movie Dollhouse? I mean, we all know about that movie. It's being talked about everywhere. It all started with a prayer. Baron, what was the darkest moments in life? God, please just give me that one phone call. That one phone call. And in 2017, I lost my mom, so I thought, I found the courage to fight for my freedom when I tasted the goodness of God. Mm. Baron, what legacy would you like to pass down? Hi everyone, we're back here in this episode of Capturing Hearts with Christina and today we have a very, very special gentleman with us. He's an award-winning actor and a mental health advocate as well. So please welcome the very handsome Baron Geisler! Wow! Thank you so much for the intro. Oh, you're really handsome, right? What do you guys think? Okay. Comment uh, below. <laughs> hello everyone! Uh, thanks for having me here on your show, uh, Miss Christina. Tita. Tita. And you call me Tita, so call me Tita here, it's fine. Okay. Tita Craig. Okay. Yeah. So Baron, how are you today? I'm very good. I'm happy. I'm yeah. happy to be here. And, have a good day. and I'm happy that you're able to have time for us. And you and your say thanks to your wife too, Deva. Right? Also, yes. she's there. She's here with us now. So what's new with you, Baron? How do you start with the movie Dollhouse? I mean, we all know about that movie. It's being talked about everywhere. It all started with a prayer. Oh. And then I've been praying on my knees. God, please just give me that one phone call. That mm -hmm. one phone call. And um, surely enough, God was faithful, mm -hmm. and I received a phone call coming from Mavex Productions, and um, they asked me if I wanted to do this mm -hmm. movie, mm -hmm. Dollhouse. So I said, yeah, why not? I was in Santander at that time mm -hmm. um, um, with my family vacationing, mm -hmm. and then they sent me the script. I got so nervous, and then... Yun, everything just miraculously fell into place. Wow. So like the role you played, just, I mean, how were you able to relate to the character? Somehow, um, there are, uh, I could identify and there yes. are similarities because um, everybody knows someone. My life is an open book. I used to be a, uh, an alcoholic and a, a drug addict, but now by God's grace, I'm recovering from that um, um, sickness, and um, it's all it's all God, you know. And the legwork that I do with my program, my structure, with the help of my my friends, my mm -hmm. tight knit circle of fellowship that that helps me um, stay grounded. Is that what helped you overcome all of this? Because you went through, like you said, drug addiction, alcoholism. I mean friends and therapy what what else can you expound what else sa mga sumbag ng mga misis ko oy iba yon iba yon may yung aldaw sa inyong tanan um yes i i believe you know um a lot of people will understand me will love me will tell me which way to go but if i'm not open and willing to take that chance to to change, then nothing will change. So um, when I open my heart to to the program and to, to God's love, and I just felt this overwhelming presence, and I I just surrendered. After that, um, miracles upon miracles. You know, um, and um, I continue uh, each day to to kneel down, bow, bow down. Like you know, I, people say, "Oh, Baron's successful already. Baron, Baron knows what to do." To tell you honestly, each day I really don't know what to do. So I ask God for guidance and uh, to direct me to the right path and to will niya. So. Um, uh, and, and that keeps me you know, uh, 
keeps me grounded and humble. Na parang may ask mo, oh, what should I do today? Because there are times that, to tell you the truth, things are uncertain. Uh, my career relationships are uncertain. But uh, when God's there, you're in the center of everything, then you ask Him to provide you the wisdom that uh, I need. Then, um, na kakaroon ako ng patience, and then, as I said, everything just falls into place. Tamang timing lahat. Nakabulat. And that's when I feel and know that God is God because dun ko na nakikita yung grace niya na things that I don't deserve. Pero wow! Diba? So, Baron, what does surrender? I mean, you said mo surrender, di ba? So, what does surrender look like to Baron, to you? Surrendering is surrendering, uh, uh, taking away self in my vocabulary or in my heart. Uh, something to have uh, clarity, peace of mind, gratitude. Gratitude is key for me. As upon awakening, before sleeping, every moment. Yes. So, Baron, what was the pinaka darkest moments in life? Of course, the loss of my parents. Oh. Uh, both of them. Both of them. In 2017, I lost my mom, so mm. I thought, parang wala na, wala, wala mm. ng sense mabuhay. There's nothing to fight for. But eventually, God showed me that there is your soul. Mm. You should fight for your soul. Yeah. And then, uh, dun ko na randaman yung grace niya and mercy niya nung nakulong ako mm. for a few months. So, Baron, how did it feel like nung nasukulungan ka? Uh, it was very painful being in jail. You know, the shame, guilt, and all of these uncomfortable feelings were just there that I couldn't mm-hmm. understand how to deal with the feelings. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, eventually, after a couple of weeks, I talked to my, to the uh, guard, uh, to the police guy. I said, hey, so, wala nang nag-visit sa akin. Mm-hmm. I said, could I please, uh, uh, tanuin mo naman kung pwede akong dalawin ng mga kapatid ko. I need to talk to them. Mm-hmm. And then, dumating silang lahat. Sabi ko, sige, sige, um, mag-rehab na ako. Pero may condition pa ako. Pero sa Cebu, ha? For some reason, I don't know why Cebu. Mm-hmm. Then, uh, kumahig sila yan. Kumahig sa day, they got you out. Nakalabas ka na. They paid my bill. Wow. Did it feel like you were in a black hole? Parang ganun ba yun? Ground, ground zero na eh. Wala na. Wala ka nang, ano, I mean, going to jail, di ba? And all that, you experience all that. So parang, is that what made you turn to God? For some reason, there was this um, um, supernatural event that happened inside. Um, First, I, I was on my knees today. I said, Lord, Lord, I'll, I'll serve you for the rest of my life. Just get me out of here. Mm. And then, wala pa rin. And then, parang one afternoon, naka, parang I was napping awake, na hindi awake. Then, yung daming flashes ng past mm. ng mga nakalimutan kong oh. git nagawa ang mga kasalanan sa mga tao. In like a split second, parang real ng no movies. All the sins. I just cried and I asked for forgiveness. And then I think dun dun pumasok yung Holy Spirit. And then slowly, slowly, he connected me uh, sa tamang people, uh, no, uh, tamang group. And it took me, to tell you the truth, it wasn't a walk uh, in the park or in a park. Uh, however you want to say it. Um, it took me five years to to be where I'm at right now. Yes, I'm, I know, I'm sure it's not easy, diba? Was there ever a time, Baron, that you felt na you will never get out of it? Every day. Mm-hmm. When you said nga kanina, do you ever feel that you're in a black hole? Mm-hmm. Every day. That's mm-hmm. why I, I, I told you na <laughs> uh, in the mornings, uh, I don't know what to do. 
so I ask for strength. And my wife knows this. Uh, kada gabi kailangan nagme-meditate ako para magising, meditate din ako. She gives me that time. And uh, and eventually, um, nawawala yung um, fear, anxiety, sadness, or self-doubt. Um, andun rin yung nagtatake rin ako ng medications. Kasi by, uh, Bipolar ako eh. Diagnosed mm-hmm. bipolar ako. Bipolar 1. Mm-hmm. So I take a, a Valparin. Mm-hmm. So, yes. Acid, it's actually, it's actually good that you seek help and I believe that. And mm-hmm. go to a doctor. Yes. I know some others who are, who are actually bipolar but don't seek help. It becomes worse. It's so, all my fault. Yeah. yeah. This is drug induced. Did it ever come to you at your life and experience mo ba? During those times na you felt suicidal and you wanted yes. to just end it all? Yes, so many times. But God did not Were there attempts? Yes. Um, Tell me stories, did I? Like, um, bago ako nagulong. A few weeks lang. Two weeks bago ako nagulong. I wore na my best suit. Oh, wow. Meron na akong pera, fine dining, mm-hmm. lamb, steak, the best wine. Then yung cord. Nandun na sa doorna, mm-hmm. alam ko na gagawin ko, I have my pills na ito take. So, ayan na, bilis na ako, paglabas ko. Hindi ko mahanap yung car keys ko. Hindi mm. ko mahanap. So, for three days ako, I'm stuck sa bahay, I had to uh, call my uncle. Sabi ko, Tito, nakawala yung susi, mm-hmm. yung kotse. Kinalaghug ko yung buong bahay. Wala talaga. Pagdating niya sa bahay, he just picked up the, uh, the pillow and couch. Sabi niya, Noy, nandito. Oh. And I was like, wow. Hindi tiniyaga ng Diyos. May second oh. attempt pa yun. Oh. Yung ano naman, padlock. Yun na naman. Naka, oh my God. Suit, ganyan. This is my time. This is, this you is it. You were serious talaga. In your mind, serious. you were serious. Yeah. Had the pills ready. Had the wire, the extension cord ready. God did not allow it. Baron, where did you find the courage and the strength to fight for your freedom? I found the courage to fight for my freedom when I tasted the goodness of God. Mm. And when I... I know, no, this is... My answers are, are all cliche, but it's the truth. Mm. Um, when I found and tasted the Father's love oh. um, and forgiveness, gave me hope yeah. to live when I um, started living. <laughs> when I started living, that's when I I began to realize that I realized my purpose. What, what made you decide to turn around and not look back anymore and just move forward? Of course I have to look back. You still want to look back. But you, but you move forward, Shambre. I need the reference from uh, uh, my, uh, before so that... Um, so you don't go back there? I will not go back. But yes. I have a reference, reference so that if... Uh, it, it's my one of my tools na, that I could um, use. use so that um, if uh, a person needing my help, wala maka identify siya. So I could use my past to explain um, or to show him, to guide him, how to get out of that rut. Yes. Tell us more about your turning point experience. Um, Talitha. Oh, Talitha. your daughter. My daughter. So now that I have another chance to mm-hmm. um, love and share mm-hmm. this love, so um, andun. Jamie, I give it back. I say, I cannot have it unless I give it away. Mm-hmm. It's just like, again, mm-hmm. such this is such a cliche, but if you know the gospel, you have to share it in order for you to keep it. Um, it's a recovery, so 12 steps. If you have it in order for you to keep it, so you have to give it away. 
So can you explain, Baron, about the Father's love? He's not an angry Father. Mm -hmm. He's a God of love and forgiveness. Mm -hmm. And um, he's my go-to guy whenever I I said they're addict, recovering addict, or human as I uh, am. There will forever be um, flashbacks of bad memories. If you see people, places, or even things that will trigger you, sometimes it comes back. But I rebuke at Kaga and say, no, I'm not like that anymore. Somebody will offer me a drink. Um, I don't identify with that anymore. So, so Baron, if nababuhay pa yung nanay mo, my God, what would you tell her? I'm sorry. Aww. I wish you were. I know you're proud of me. Mm. And I apologize for being a, you're not listening. And I know that the tough love mom is trying to make me understand what life is all about. And I'm sorry for it. You know, the laking chip on my shoulder, the pagiging stupid ko. But God cured that. Baron, what advice can you give other men, young men, young women like you, who are going through the same thing now that you went through noon, yung mga pinagdaanan mo noon. Um, just be willing and to accept. You know, have that humble spirit, humble heart to accept that uh, usually kasi men, we think we're the best drivers, we have the biggest muscles, biceps, or whatever. But um, if we accept that we do have a problem, then that's the first step. And later on, we could ask for help. God and people around us. Me as a father, I, I believe that um, for my boys, I'm the hero. And for my daughter, I'm Prince hero Charming. Yeah. <laughs> hero, Prince Charming. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to maintain that uh, relationship that I have. Not force anything, I just support them. They know what I do for a living. Mm -hmm. So I, I invite them sometimes. Uh, when I uh, was on set for Ironheart, mm -hmm. I brought Talitha to the production. I brought my daughter to work. They oh, uh, and, yeah. uh, and then to uh, Asila. Um, legacy is planting seeds, like even small, even if I don't get paid for it. Me and my wife will go uh, to different places, uh, Vismin. Which is part of your advocacy. Huh? Yes. And um, we talk to drug surrenderies. Uh, we talk about mental health awareness and also uh, uh, students regarding anti-suicide, wow, anti-bullying. That's, that's such a big thing you're doing. Yeah. Um, we do this in order, in order for people to, um, for the kids to at least know that they're not alone, never alone. There's always help. And we cannot do this alone. I can't even get sober by just doing it alone. I need a corgi, I need a doctor, I need a pastor, I need we need fellowship. a good team. Yeah, we need, we need good people, team. yeah. We need people, a good influence. Yes. Yeah.